Great, great story. Um, Australia continues to be, and New Zealand and other countries, just <laughs> we look at it from a perspective, definitely me being in Texas, one of the more open states out here, well, at least pertaining to COVID. And to see the type of shit that people are dealing with in pockets of Europe and Australia, uh, it's certainly funny. And by funny, I mean it's not funny. So let's take a look in, uh, as far as what, what's going on um, down under and everywhere else. Good morning. We start with breaking news at a Darwin where three people have escaped from the Howard Springs COVID quarantine facility. Talia Saab is there for us. Talia, good morning. There's a search underway right now. Yes, that's right, Davina. Good morning to you. We've been told the trio scaled the fence in the early hours of this morning. Police receiving reports around 4.40am. Now, major police checkpoints have been set up around Howard Springs for the past several hours. As you can see in these pictures, they've been conducting thorough searches in car boots, checking vehicle registrations, cars and buses alike. But in the last half an hour, what we understand is they've actually been dismantled. Exactly why that hasn't been confirmed. Hopefully, good news. We're also not sure yet who these people are connected with, whether it's a repatriation flight or those Aboriginal community members who have been staying here following the Catherine Cluster. Davina, what we do know is that this is definitely going to bring this gold standard facility under intense scrutiny. On Sunday, we had a man escape and found on Darwin's party precinct, and this latest situation is only going to put us under the microscope further. Not good news. OK, Talias, thank you. Okay, now, again, I just want you to also understand, I know it's weird for us to look at what just took place and we're like, what the fuck is, is going on? And, and, and I can, you know, just being honest, it's hard to digest. But you even hear the way that even the news folk talk about it, like, oh, not good news, and it's, it's just, to them, it's normal behavior they think that they're on the the right side of this guys they they really do so for you guys that didn't pick up on what the fuck just happened these voluntary which they, obviously they weren't so voluntary are they otherwise they wouldn't be worried about this what are effectively let's just call them what they are internment camps concentration call them something but the camps specifically for people that have you know there's certain the rules that apply there as far as what, what will land you in a quarantine facility um, in certain areas, be it you tested positive, be it you came at in from a travel, you were around someone that tested positive. And these are quarantine camps. Um, uh, but th what they are is you're imprisoning people essentially for a couple of weeks and they can't move. Now, apparently, like the uh, around some of these areas, it's like barbed wire, wire uh, getting some conflicting reports on that. But these guys are scaling fences nonetheless to get the fuck up out of there. This isn't unlike what I covered back in the day. It was a story that got buried when New Zealand had basically one of the first, if not the first, COVID concentration camp. And you had motherfuckers like Spider-Man on the side of the building trying to crawl out the motherfucker, putting their life on the line, crawling out, trying to get out of the facility. You know? So for you guys who, as this gets crazier, it gets crazier in other countries. You got to understand what type of people you're dealing with. You're dealing with folks who, and why it seems like it keeps going. It's not just, yeah, it's of course, it's some of the compliance. But these guys think that they're the good people. Three people have left a, an effective concentration camp. Police are doing checkpoints and shit, popping trunks trying to figure out where these people are. The people that do stuff like that and half historically never have been the good guys. Okay. 
But why it happens in the way that it does is that it's a bunch of people that have been convinced and convinced other people that they're the good guys. So they could just say it with a straight face, like, yeah, it's just a, it's just a quarantine camp. Two weeks is slow to spread to. It's just a it's just a fucking quarantine camp. You only be there for two weeks. Oh, it's just it, it's voluntary though. Oh, it's just ma- it's just mandatory, and we're gonna look for you, uh, put checkpoints and all sorts of things to find you in the event that you fucking leave. These people are crazy. They're bad people objectively, and this is why I don't mince for words. Like I know I'm one of the more guys, the rough around the edges guys that uh, exist in our kind of space here. Okay, I need to get that. I'm not oblivious. I'm one of the guys that have absolutely no problem telling these people to go fuck themselves. I would do it, and I would do it repeatedly. Um, I have no issues uh, saying that, and I'm not going to pretend like these people have redeeming qualities. I think that's the biggest difference between me and your usual commentator, uh, because a lot of folks try to, oh, I want to search for the good in people, and, um, oh, well, we can't convince them by calling them things such as crackheads. No, 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 no. You have to understand what we're dealing with. We've long, long past the point of, uh, of trying to play nice with these people. These are people of the aggressors. I'm under no requirement to play nice with an aggressor at all. None. None. It ain't even my job to convince you uh, to leave me to fuck alone. That's that's I don't even I'm not required to even do that. But considering where we're at doing it y'all's way ain't ain't fucking help. Trying to play fucking nice with people that have no intentions on uh, reciprocating. Fuck these fucking people. Fuck them. There's no sense in playing nice with the evil guys. They're the baddies. So to that I say, Australians, New Zealanders, Germans, we're going to talk about that later in the show. They can't, they can't, I mean, you can't beat the classics, huh? who have allowed your governments that you trusted so much in the democracy that you believe in so much that it's just this sacred form of governance. That is just the best that you can do. These people and your governments do not fear you. And all that's happening here is the people that are among you, you know, each other. So the citizens, if you will, they have effectively turned them against each other. More so used aside as lemmings, be it mainstream media and public school systems, government officials, local public health health experts, all those guys. They're just the lemmings, right? They're lemmings for the state. And they act on behalf of them. Um, and they have a bunch of brainlets among all of us who wear six masks, in the car. And because they have been told they can't function without the state telling them when it's okay for them to leave the house, they think that you are a threat to them in the event that you just exist. And you decide, let's say in some cases, not get the jab as just an example. Sometimes you can still get the jab and (laughs) you still, you still subject to all of this bullshit. These people are horrible people. And they should be treated as such. You just watched a clip from my podcast for Cannon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59. And follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.